When I crossed that finish line, it was a satisfying feeling for me. We went into the last lap in, I think, ninth place. Came out of turn four and a hole opened up in the middle and my spotter told me, he's like, don't go three wide, don't go three wide. And it was a full send moment for me. <laughs> and I did <laughs> go three wide and crossed the finish line in fifth place, but it was so exciting. For the first few races, we were just kind of wanting to get a top 15 or a top 10 car in one piece as the goal is always. But now it's, we're looking at Talladega and saying we want a top five. And we're really wanting to be a strong contender for the Rookie of the Year and the Arkham Menard series. So those expectations have shifted because we know we have the resources, we know we have the car to be able to accomplish these. And Daytona was a huge confidence builder for us. My first weekend here at Rose Holman, I had a race to go out of town for. My race was televised, so several of the residence halls got together and did watch parties. And I came back Monday morning and nearly everyone I passed congratulated me and they were like, hey, when's the next one? And it was just a cool experience. A freshman at Rose Holman, you wouldn't think that people would rally around you or even know what you're up to, but it's that community that's so special here that I wouldn't have gotten that anywhere else. I know that Rose has a long-standing history in racing with the Holmans owning Indianapolis Motor Speedway until about 2019. And all of that racing history with Tony Holman and of course, Tim Sendrick, who is very successful in racing. For me to be able to continue that is huge. I'm so excited to be partnered with Rose Holman with the main focus of increasing awareness for women in diversity in STEM. Being an engineering student at Rose Holman has incredibly advanced my career. I've been able to go back to my team and come up with innovative ideas that I learned in the classroom and can apply to help further our technology on our cars. Being a role model is one of the most important things to me in my career. I love using my racing as a platform to inspire other individuals and young women to work towards their goals in STEM careers. I have decided to do a Drive to Inspire program where I go to middle schools and high schools and speak to their student body and discuss self-confidence and achieving your goals and what STEM has done for me as an individual. Little six-year-old Mandy would be shocked at where I'm at now because I'm at a place where I'm truly happy here at Rose Holman. I think young Mandy would be shocked that as a 21-year-old, I'm racing in the Arkham Menard series, one of five women to race at Daytona and just shocked at all of the history that we're continually making. One of the big things that we learned recently was that I am only one of four women drivers who have finished top five at Daytona in the Arkham Menard series in their 60 year history, which is huge. And making that history and inspiring others is something I'm so passionate about. Little six-year-old Mandy would be mind blown.